13-year-old Fraser takes his facial protection seriously, and it's not vanity. I was getting nose beads about maybe once a week, um, but if I do get one in, say, a week, then I might get two or three that week. And sometimes the bleeds would come out of nowhere. If I sneeze, it will start and, like, even sometimes I'm just, I'll just be, like, sitting down or reading a book and it will just start, like, for no reason. 90% of nosebleeds happen in the front or anterior part of the nose. The vast majority are uh, nosebleeds that arise from a broken vessel just inside the nose. We think they're due to um, dryness of the nose causing the lining of the nose to crack. Then there are the 10% which are more serious. These bleeds happen in the back or posterior part of the nose. Or the blood vessel that, that cracks and bleeds is much bigger and it's located way into the back of the nose and it's far, far more difficult to manage. The posterior nosebleeds tend to happen after an injury or commonly in the elderly and are often due to high blood pressure, kidney disease and bleeding disorders. You can help prevent them by moisturizing your nose with cream, for example. It's like toothpaste amount. And then you take the cream and you put it in your nose and you roll it around like this so that you apply it on and you're looking for the center part here. So what should you do if you have a nosebleed? You have to blow your nose to get all the blood clots out of your nose. Then pinch your nose, but not at the top the lower part. So if you can move it, that's the part, and you pinch it like this. Um, and then you hold it for five minutes. If that doesn't work after 20 minutes of trying, you need to go to emergency. With recurrent nosebleeds like Fraser's, doctors will use cauterization. It chemically burns the, the blood vessel and seals it. It's worked for Fraser. So far I haven't gotten any nosebleeds. A nosebleed after a fall or a car crash could be a sign of internal bleeding, and frequent nosebleeds and bruising can be signs of blood clotting disorders, nasal tumors, and even leukemia.